I learned so much from Alex. It's hard to say the single most important because the natural thing would be that she taught us that you can make a difference, that one person can make a difference. But really, um, for me personally, the most important thing she taught me was towards the end of her life when she was very sick and she had to go to the hospital in the middle of the night. It was the third time in the week because we were trying to keep her out of the hospital. And my husband put her in the car and it was just devastating because we felt like, here we go again. You know, her third night spending the night in the emergency room. And he turned around to her and he said, I'm so sorry, Alex. And she said, for what? He said, for everything. And she said, if there's one thing you should know about me by now, it's that I'm happy for what I have, not unhappy for what I don't have. And to say that at that moment, for me, told me how to live my life. Excuse me. And it, and it gave me um, a lot of comfort that that's how she lived her life. So through the years, I have embraced that. And I've seen that if you can embrace that, um, you can have a happy life. And you can appreciate everything you have, whether it's the way you planned it to be or, you know, whether you would take it all away to have your loved one back. Um, you have to find the good in it because the bad is going to be there regardless. So if you can't find the good in it, then it's extremely hard to live a good, productive life. And in my case, I felt as I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be honoring her life by not living a good, productive life. And I certainly uh, would be pretty selfish with three other kids to not get up and carry on and do everything I could every day to make sure that their lives were happy as well.